good morning here in Utah. It's 5.41 a.m. I'm about to head out on the bike. So, sunrise around here is at 6 a.m. I can already see dawn. It takes about 45 minutes. I'll get there right on time. There's some deer. They're just running across the road. I was surprised to see them. Hey, deers. Those deers are just grazing. I was surprised to see them walking across the street, but uh, they're pretty happy. Here's the hill where I'm gonna be practicing for the paragliding. They say it's only about 300 feet. It's a good beginner's hill. In fact, it's one of the best places to learn in Utah, they say. So that's where I'll be. It says flight park, state recreational area. No shooting. Okay, that's good to know. Well, this mountain's really hard to get up. I wish I could have stayed in one of these houses. It's really close to the flight park. These houses are as close as you can get to that flight park, which is just across the street. Well, that's good. I arrived here. It took me an hour and seven minutes. So now I know for tomorrow. Everyone's practicing this morning. She's doing a pretty good job. I just talked to Rachel. She's about 125 pounds using that small parachute today. Hey, how's it going? Going good. <laughs> so what's your name? Rachel. Okay, how long have you been paragliding? Like a month. Okay, how many flights do you have? 62. Oh, that's pretty good. So what are you doing today? I was hoping to kite, but there's not very good wind. What time did you get here this morning? Six. Wow, so you've been at it for a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> So do you like it so far? Yeah, I'm yeah? loving it. It's sweet. So most of your 62 flights have been down this way? Yeah, most of them have been here. I've had like 10 on the north side, but most of them have been here. Oh, okay. Oh, do you have your P1? Mm, yeah. Almost, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> How about the P2? P2 I'm working on. Oh, okay. So once you get your P2, you could just go to any mountain basically? Do you still want to go with people that you trust and mentors that you trust? Oh, okay. Yeah. Until you get to P3, maybe? Yeah, just, you know, uh. <laughs> it's, it's a social sport. You still need to be careful. Oh, uh, okay. Can you tell me about your paraglider? Like, what's the name of it and what's the capacity and things like that? This is the Atom. It's an A-Wing BGD. Yeah. Um, pretty sure it's a small. Do they measure them in square feet? I believe so, yes. I'm okay. not sure how big. So this is one of the smaller ones? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. That's probably the kind of size I would need. Mm -hmm. uh, how many strings are there? <laughs> There's got to be a number, right? There's a lot. There's but, different risers. You need to know the risers. Oh, okay. There's like A risers, which you'll need to bring up. And then you'll have your brakes and then your C risers. Yeah. That you can use too. So A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. Uh, do they teach you about the reserve? We did, yeah. Yeah? We did a little bit on the reserve. Okay. Will you ever have to like pull it out? So we practice sitting in like the stimulator over there by the wind sock. Oh, okay. Little thing. Yeah. You hook yourself up. Okay. And we each like practice throwing the reserve ones. We just like picked it out and sort of tried to throw it yeah. into our instructor's hands so it didn't just fully come apart. Oh, okay. So when will you finish your course, you think? I don't know. I'm hoping <laughs> to be with him for a long time. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I'm learning a lot, so... Oh, okay, so even at 62 flights, you're still learning. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. How many pounds do you think your parachute weighs? I don't know. <laughs> like... Probably like 15, 20 pounds? Uh... Maybe? Maybe. So is it pretty easy to pack? I mean, yeah. You can get... The stuff sacks are really easy because you can just like stuff them in. If you're like traveling somewhere and you want to really compact it super small, there's yeah. different ways that you can really get them small. Oh, okay. So you could even take this on the airlines huh, or mm -hmm. check it in? Okay. Yeah. That'd yeah. be nice. nice. So you recommend it for others? <laughs> this sport? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so your friend got you into it. <laughs> yeah, got to do it. Yeah, it looks so fun. Are you going to try uh, hang gliding afterwards? I don't know. You haven't decided? I haven't, yeah. 
Yeah. I'd like to stick with this for a bit. Yeah. And just just uh, perfect your skill on this. Hang gliding is more dangerous and it's harder to like pack up. Oh yeah. I feel like the cars like the super long straight. Yeah, I've seen them. Holes. It's a lot of luggage to carry around. <laughs> Great Dane. Hey, Great Dane. It's so big. Hey, can you do a trick? Sit. Shake. <laughs> oh, your hand's so big. How many pounds do you think that Great Dane is? He's about 170. Oh, okay. This is the streetcar called Trax. It's right across the street from the Draper Library and Senior Center. If I need to get to the airport, all I do is take the 701 and the 704 to get to the airport. Pretty easy, it takes about 45 minutes or so. Maybe one hour total. I got wheels now. I just went shopping at Smith's, so I got some food. Well, the weather was too windy today, so we'll try tomorrow for paragliding. They said to meet them at 6.30, so that's what I'll do. Oh, there's a zebra there. Can't believe that. You can find zebras here sometimes along with the normal horses. It's pretty nice. 